Welcome to Hardware Asylum. One of my projects this summer was a hydroponic garden. I'm doing this in the Dutch bucket configuration. And since I need to do a change of the nutrient, I thought I would do a quick video as well. The whole purpose of this garden was to grow some watermelons. And as you can see, we have one nice big melon there and another one between the buckets. It's all kind of protected by the leaves, which is pretty awesome. And of course, you can't have a hydroponic garden unless you're going to grow some tomatoes. We have three cherry tomato plants here. Two of them are red and one of them is yellow. And uh, the tomatoes love it. Which is not surprising. Tomatoes love hydroponics. And uh, as well as some of the other plants that people grow in this particular system. Everything is supported by a table with a trellis in the background. Here's a little watermelon. So the way this works is we have a couple of quarter inch lines coming out of the reservoir that go into each one of the buckets. There's a splitter at the end. And then I 3D printed some little brackets to kind of hold the quarter inch line in place. And there's two feeder lines and then two splitters. Right there, there's a lot of roots, and that's where the water's coming out at. Now underneath is the reservoir for all the nutrients. It's a black one I picked up from, I think, Fred Meyer, Kroger, if you are in other parts of the world. And while the tub is black, it is under the table and protected by the sun. It's shaded all the time. Inside, I just have a small pump. It's facing down so that I can suck up as much water as possible. The drain is coming off of some one inch PVC, coming back into the reservoir. And if we go and check the EC, right now it's in PPM, but if we hit mode, it will go into the EC. around two, which is the target that I'm going for this. There we go. Under the table I have a power strip so that I can turn the pump on and off. So on the pump I have a basic manifold, goes into the quarter inch adapters, and on the tub I have some tape that marks out where the 10 gallon mark is. We're using the master blend system here. So I mix up the calcium nitrate first, and I use two scoops of just a little bit of water and kind of dissolve it in there and set that aside. I like to just fold the bags over and use a binding clip. So the interesting thing about Master Blend is that it's all in ratios. So I use two scoops of the NitroCal, two scoops of the Master Blend, and one scoop of the Epsom Salt. As long as you get the ratios correct, it doesn't matter how much you add to the water provided that you also want to the level. So here we'll just drop the master blend into my five gallon bucket. I filled it up with four gallons of water, by the way. And Epsom salt is the last one. Use one scoop of that. And then we just give it a quick stir, a piece of plywood here, and it's falling apart. 
Been using it all summer. I like to just kind of swirl it around a bit and kind of create a whirlpool at the end. That ensures that everything is dissolved and that it kind of flows from top to bottom. Of course, everybody mixes their nutrient solution differently and this is just the one I like. Here I get a nice whirlpool going. Then we'll go ahead and dump the nitrogen solution that's been dissolved right in the middle. Give it a quick mix at the end here. Then we get our meter, set it to EC again. Kind of drop it in there to see what the concentration is. Because it should be over concentrated at this point. And here we have 3.5 and some change. I cleaned out the reservoir, put the pump back onto the side of the wall. And at this point, uh, you just get plain water, fill it up to the 10 gallon mark. Give it a quick stir. You know, having the water go in there plus pouring the nutrient in will mix it up pretty well, but peace of mind, so to speak. And then we will check the concentration. And here we have 1.9, which is great. Last step is to put the drain back into the reservoir and then we can turn on the, the power. We'll have to monitor this over the course of the day because the, the plants will evaporate some of the water and make the concentrations really high. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.